नरेश्वर जी श्री नरेश गुजराल जी थैंक यू सर सर आई कॉम्प्लीमेंट द ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर फॉर मेंटेनिंग स्ट्रिक्ट फिजिकल डिसिप्लिन डिस्पाइट ग्लोबल हेडविंड and two back to back failures of the monsoon sir fiscal maintaining fiscal discipline means that you contain inflation which he has so deftly managed to bring down to 5% from over double digits which he inherited from the upa sir when you contain your inflation you send a very strong message to the rbi to rework its monetary policy and that is why now you see that the interest rates are coming down and i am sure as interest rates come down this will benefit the consumer and as a result this will lead to a growth of our economy because low interest rates always give a kick start to the economy sir very proud to say sitaram ji is not here that he was complaining about the growth of the economy and my friend jairam ramesh was questioning the growth rate even the economist has said that last year india was the best performing economy in the world and hopefully this year again we will do better than china <coughs> sir it is no secret that the honorable prime minister's footprint can be seen all over this budget and the fact that 88000 crores has been earmarked for the farm sector is something that we should be proud of but apart from that he has given a road map to double the farmers income in the next 5 years sir the failure of the monsoon and now the water shortage has created a lot of problems for our farmers and to mitigate the farmers problems i hope the government will put more resources in the pradhan mantri krishi sachai yojana to make it a reality he will also have to ensure they have promised 100% electrification of all villages by 2018 and i hope the honorable minister will pay attention to that because that is going to be a game changer sir 19000 crores have been provided for pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana to connect every village that again is very very important if we want to lift the plight of our farmers sir i commend the honorable prime minister for providing the fasal bima yojana but the success of that yojana really depends on the implementation i hope it doesn't become just a cash cow for the for the insurance companies but the benefits actually reach the farmer sir also the 14 crore fa farm holdings which have to be pro provided with a soil health card this scheme will benefit the farm sector and i do hope that this will be a success but sir the last in this but not the least the real game changer is the 100% fdi that they have allowed in the manufacture and marketing of food products sir government figures indicate that the country loses about 1 lakh crores every year post harvest now bringing in opening up this sector and the coming in of multinationals <laughs> means that f the the cold chains and the supply chains would be created in this country and even if 50% of what goes waste can be saved this will make a huge impact on the lives of the farmer <laughs> sir the the government has laid a lot of emphasis on job creation which is commendable the the provision to set up 15000 multi skill training institutes will definitely affect the youth but again the 2.25 lakh that he has earmarked for infrastructure will will ensure that the economy starts moving once again sir i now turn to my state of punjab i would request the honorable minister that the 700 crores that was promised to us for our canal system part of that has been given to us but we need that money to be coming to the state as quickly as possible sir second i would urge him that in order to improve the plight of the farmer please introduce the swaminathan formula 
that is the only way the farmer will today be able to manage many speakers have said that farming is becoming unproductive i totally agree with them unless the farmer finds the right price for his produce he will be out of pocket and that is exactly what is happening and that is also in the bjp manifesto so i hope you will honor that sir punjab needs a dairy research institute on the lines of the one in in haryana and i would urge the finance minister to kindly consider that sir one important point i would like to bring to the attention of the house punjab has come under a lot of flack in the national media on the fci what this yesterday my friend mr bajwa said is a scandal the facts are very different the fact is that since 1997 no reconciliation has been done we procure food for fci there were years when there was excess product production we procured the food there was no place to keep the food the food was being kept in the open when food is kept in the open covered with polythene sheets and the upa government called it scientific storage obviously some of it will go bad and the punjab government has never got any credit for all that rotted similarly there were two years when because of militancy no milling could be done of the paddy that was procured and later it was sold at throwaway prices again no credit was given similarly what we spend on transportation what we spend on uh, on labor we are not reimbursed the actual cost sir i am not saying that we are right or the government of india is right all i am urging the finance minister is please appoint some arbitrator let him go through the detail if we owe you any money we will happily pay so pay, pay the money but if you are something i think you would also be considered enough to reimburse punjab sir another point which is very important we are now it, this is a 50th year ambika ji as you would know when punjab and haryana were bifurcated we were told that within 5 years chandigarh would be transferred to punjab we all know how a state capital is a revenue generator <clears throat> today more cars are registered in chandigarh than in the whole state of punjab in jairam ramesh was here in in andhra pradesh in undivided andhra pradesh hyderabad was generating 34% of the revenue my point is if you cannot transfer sir Mujra, everybody has spoken please, for 10 minutes no this is not fair this is not fair everybody has spoken for 10 minutes we nahi sahi kya hai we are urging you that for god sake whatever is the excess revenue that chandigarh generates you give that 60% to punjab and 40% to aise awaaz mat kariye because that would only be fair and that will help us a lot jo ऐसे ऐसे ना करे तो अच्छा है ना आई हैव जस्ट अ फ्यू सजेशंस फॉर द ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स कंसीडरेशन सर यू आर अ स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड मैन डू नॉट फॉलो द कॉन्वोल्यूटेड टैक्सेशन पॉलिसीज ऑफ योर प्रीडिसेसर आई जी गुजराल जी पूरा करें मेहरबानी करके क्योंकि समय केवल पांच मिनट कर दिया गया पांच बारी आती सिर्फ तभी होता है नहीं आपकी बारी नहीं यहां जो बारी है तो बारी है आई स्पीक फॉर 2 मिनट्स समय का थोड़ा ध्यान रखें सर there should be no surcharge because surcharge means short changing the states and i hope the honorable finance minister moving forward will ensure that the tax rates are straight forward secondly our banking system many speakers have said have been taken for a ride by some dishonest businessmen sir we need to change our bank secrecy laws we are giving the names of the willful defaulters but why not give the names of the 100 skillful defaulters who have taken the banks for a ride whose npas are huge sir a forensic audit must be done on all these npas so that this kind of thing is not repeated uh, again in the future i would also urge the finance minister to set up an oil stabilization fund sir we are lucky that the oil prices have come down but there can be a situation when oil again goes back to 100 so i think we must 
think of the of today we are lucky but a situation can arise so we must think of the future also and last sir i think judicial reform is very important now we are about to pass the bank the the banking code the insolvency code i'm sorry bankruptcy. the the bankruptcy law drts will be set up but they don't function so unless there is reform in the judicial system nothing will be achieved and the banks will stay where they are and india will not become an investment destination thank you last sir mr jairam ramesh was critical of the government's policies and he said that gst is being blocked by this side sir the whole country knows who is blocking gst and i would urge you please for the sake of our youth who need the jobs please let gst go through because that will add at least 2% to our gdp and the whole world knows that thank sir, you dhanyawad please i end with a urdu ka plate aage to sunao jo pahunch gaye manzil tak unko to nahi hai naaz e safar do kadam abhi jo chale nahi daftar ki baatein karte hain bahut bahut bahut